Here's a Hubble image of Abel 2744. It's 4.2 billion light years away. It's named Pandora's Galaxy Cluster. It acts as a gravitational lens into even more distant galaxies, seen as bluish distorted lines across the cluster. Here's the view from Webb. You'll note that the distorted images of the more distant galaxies are now reddish. That's because this is seen through Webb's near-infrared camera. Zooming out, we see areas that have never been imaged by Hubble. Astronomers estimate that there are around 50,000 sources of near-infrared light in this image. Bright white sources surrounded by a hazy glow are the galaxies of Pandora's cluster, a conglomeration of massive galaxy clusters, coming together to form a megacluster. The concentration of mass is so great that it produces one of the strongest gravitational lenses known. It's the lensed galaxies themselves that are the object of this study. Astronomers used a process called photometry to estimate the distances to the many warped background galaxies. The technique measures light intensity through various filters and compares the results to a database of model galaxies. Results showed that six of these seven galaxies that are close together on the sky are also at the same distance behind Pandora. Later, Spectroscopic analysis, which takes a good deal longer to collect, determined conclusively that all seven were at the same distance, with a redshift of 7.9. This would make them all members of an early galaxy protocluster that formed just 650 million years after the Big Bang.